Hey everybody, welcome to the channel or welcome back to the channel. This is Living in Columbus, Ohio, and I have probably one of the best episodes that I've done so far for you guys as we're gonna be talking about some awesome things to do in and around Columbus, Ohio. So sit back, relax, grab a cold one, grab a bag of popcorn. You're not gonna wanna miss this episode. What's up everybody, my name is Brad Winter and if this is your first time to the channel, make sure you tap on that subscribe button below and you click on the bell so you get notified every single time I do a new video. And in these videos, I talk about everything there is to know about working, eating, living, playing in the Columbus metro and surrounding areas. I am a licensed real estate agent in the state of Ohio and as much as I love doing these videos for you guys, I would love nothing more to help you out with your real estate needs. So if you are thinking about moving or relocating to our incredible city, make sure that you call or text me at the number below. You can even shoot me an email as it passes through the screen because I'm gonna be the guy that answers your phone calls, responds to those text messages, gets back to you on the email, but most importantly, I'm always gonna have your back when relocating to our incredible city. All right guys, so we're gonna talk about some of the awesome things that you can do in and around Central Ohio. Let's go check them out. Okay, so number one on the list is the Columbus Zoo. I have mentioned it probably two or three times in other videos, but the Columbus Zoo is one of the things that people, not only in Columbus love to do, but we get a ton of people from surrounding areas of Ohio and even states that come in for a long weekend. They come to the Columbus Zoo. It's one of the best zoos in the United States and people really love what the zoo has to offer. Um, if you want to go into the zoo, you can. Um, that's certainly one of the, probably the best things to do is actually go see the animals. They have educational programs for kids. During the winter, they have Christmas lights and carolers and Santa's there and all these fun things for kids. So that's really, really cool. They also have um, a golf course. So, hey, mom and dad, if, if you know, your kids are doing some edu educational program and you wanna go play nine or 18 holes, you have the ability to do so, which is really, really, really cool. They also have Zumbezi Bay. So the summers here, they're hot, they're humid, they're sticky, they're no fun sometimes. This is one of the coolest water parks in the region. So after a long day of walking around the zoo and being all hot and sweaty, we have Zumbezi Bay. It's a huge water park for kids. They actually have an adult kind of area as well that serves beverages. So again, mom and dad, let your kids go, go down the water slide, have some fun with their friends, sit back, relax, grab a cold one, and enjoy you know, all that the Columbus Zoo has to offer you know, in the compound and the surrounding areas. So that's something that people really, really love about Columbus, and it's one of the big attractions to our city. Okay, number two on our awesome list is the Franklin Park Conservatory. As you can see on the map, it is just east of uh, downtown Columbus. This is another place that we have talked uh, a number of times about. This is an 88 acre uh, botanical park. It is super cool, guys. Um, obviously you have the conservatory and everything that goes along with that, but there are weddings here, there's charity events here, there's outings here. Uh, this place is truly a, a special place in Columbus and um, it attracts, again, a lot of tourists, not only from you know in the state of Ohio, but people that are visiting. This is always um, a place that businesses recommend going, hotels recommend going. Um, you will not be disappointed um, if you are visiting Columbus and want to check this out, or if you're living here. This is a great place to take the kids to go on a date, to maybe have your wedding at. It is truly. Um, a, a really cool place and I highly recommend you checking it out. One thing that's really cool about the Franklin Park Conservatory is open daily, it's free admission. Um, so it's one of those really cool things that the city has, they put on. You can go enjoy the park as well. You don't have to actually stay in the conservatory. The park is enormous. So if you wanna go explore 
um, what that has to offer, you're more than welcome to do so. So again, Franklin Park Conservatory, definitely check it out. Number three on our list is COSI, which is short for the Center of Science and Industry. This is a great place for kids. They have all sorts of things, um, science related, planetariums, dinosaurs, galleries. They have a science park. Um, this is located just on the west side of downtown, right across uh, the Scioto River. It is such a cool place. I highly recommend taking kids there. They have all sorts of programs and events, um, especially during summer. So if your kids are out of school and you wanna send them to like a science program or, or something like that, definitely look into COSI. It's a staple of Columbus. Uh, so definitely check that out. If you are visiting here, you can stay downtown. There's a, few, you know, a ton of hotels uh, and it's a quick walk right across the bridge to actually go to COSI or you can even rent bikes, which is what a lot of people like to do. Um, take the kids over there, enjoy a fun day and experience everything that COSI has to offer. Number four, speaking of the Scioto Mile, this is a really killer place to go to. Um, as you can see on the map, this is a river on the west side of downtown. It stretches from downtown Columbus all the way up north. Um, it is a long trail. I don't even, I don't actually know how many miles it is, but you can bike, you can walk, you can run. Uh, this trail will take you um, quite a bit up north uh, into Worthington. It is really, really cool. I mean, you can go down here and sit in the grass and do a picnic, take your dog down for a walk. Uh, you can kayak in the uh, in the side of a mile. On the other side of Kosai, they have kind of an amphitheater where they do movie nights along the side of a mile. And this area, this promenade area has really become a staple um, in the city of Columbus. They've dumped millions of dollars into this area to make it a really big focal point and attraction. Um, so I know me personally, uh, my fiance and I, we take our dog down there all the time. We love the walk. It's a great view, especially either early in the morning as the sun's coming up or those evening walks when the sun is setting. And it's, uh, you get this kind of golden kiss off of all the buildings from the sunset. Um, it's really cool. So definitely check that out. It's one of the awesome things that Columbus has to offer. Okay, so number five on our really cool, awesome list of things to do in Columbus is visit the North Market. And we've talked about this before, North Market is in the short north. It was established in 1876. Um, this is a place where you're gonna find different businesses ranging from butchers to seafood to uh, cheese places. You've got florists, um, restaurants, donut shops, bagels, coffee, you name it, it's gonna have it. Um, this is a huge attraction for people that live in the downtown area. Um, they like, me and myself, we like to go there Saturday or Sunday mornings, grab a coffee, grab a donut, walk around, grab some things. Uh, it's also a huge destination for people that are um, in town for their long weekend and they're staying downtown, they can walk there. The cool thing about the North Market is it's actually expanded up into Dublin to the Bridge Park area that we've talked about before. So now you have a North Market up there as well. Um, and they have a brewery and some other things um, that, you can, that you can hang out at. So this is really a staple point of Columbus and, and now getting into Dublin. Uh, so definitely check it out if you're visiting or if you're moving or relocating here. This is something you're definitely gonna wanna uh, take part in. Number six on our list is the Metro Parks. So Columbus, we have a ton of metro parks. We have, let me look at my notes real quick. We actually have 19 metro parks. Can you believe that? Uh, so if you are into going to parks, whether it's for picnic or playing baseball, kicking the soccer ball around, taking your dog, exercising, whatever that is, we've got a plethora of parks to choose from. Some of my favorite is going to High Banks Metro Park, which is north of the city off Route 23. It is huge, guys. Like. Uh, you can't even cover it in a day. Um, they have great trails that you can take your dog on. Some of them you can't. So definitely check that out. You've got Glacier Ridge Metro Park, which is just outside of Dublin. That is another massive area where people love to go. Um, so if you're moving from out of state and relocating here and you want to know, hey, you know, what's kind of the outdoor scene? We don't have mountains. We don't have a lot of water. But we have a ton of parks. So that's something that a lot of people really love. Uh, about Columbus and our city does a good job of maintaining them and, and making them really enjoyable for people. Okay, last but not least on our awesome list is the short north. We've talked about it 
way too many times. The Shore North is located just north of downtown Columbus. It makes up 300 local businesses. Um, it has some of our best bars and restaurants that you're gonna find in Columbus. It's a major destination for visitors. At any moment of the day, this place will be pretty busy. On the weekends, it gets really busy, and especially at night because, you know, kind of the entertaining scene comes out. But the Shore North is a staple you will find everything that you could imagine down there from boutique clothing stores to hair salons, restaurants, bars, candle stores, shoe stores. Um, it has, it truly has it all. It's got a lot of um, new apartments going up and hotels. It's a major attraction uh, for people that are visiting here. But if you live here like me, if you're a resident and you live you know, in that Columbus metro area, it's definitely a place that you're gonna frequent a lot. One of my favorite things to do is grab Jenny's ice cream give her a little plug um, so definitely check that out again the short north you will probably see it all over the place if you google columbus short north is going to come up so definitely check that out it's a huge kind of destination place for people living here or visiting here all right guys so there are some awesome things to do if you are moving or relocating or if you already live in columbus and you don't know about those things there you have it you have some things to do so again if you are thinking about moving or relocating here, make sure you pick up the phone, shoot me a text, give me a call, shoot me an email, whatever you need to do to get a hold of me, make sure you do so because I'm gonna have your back when moving to our incredible city. All right guys, until next time.